Hey, I'm Kevin and welcome back to the Filmmaker's Formula. Have you seen South Park? If you've seen South Park or any other animated American sitcoms like Family Guy or Simpsons, you'd know that they're really easy to get lost in. You can easily binge a couple of episodes with not much effort and feel like not much time has passed. There's more to the sitcom formula, but today we're only gonna talk about one specific aspect of story. Story, as you know, is what keeps the audience drawn in and all of us know to include it into our work. But I personally find it hard to fit in my videos. I always have a bunch of things I wanna show the audience, like this and that and this and that other thing. Ultimately, it just feels like I'm reciting my grocery list. A while back, Trey Parker and Matt Stone, the creators of South Park, shared one of their secrets of writing interesting story in South Park to a group of New York University students. Simply put, it's but and therefore. A story is made up of certain beats, and a good story, an interesting story, has a tempo to it. There's conflict, there's drama, and all this builds momentum and keeps us engaged. You'll find the same thing in most successful videos. Their rule works like this. If you can put the words and then between your beats, then your story is not an interesting one. Instead of that, you wanna replace it with but and therefore. Take this for instance. Today I woke up and I made breakfast, and then I went to the gym, and then I went to the mall, and then I went home, and then I went to bed. There's not much story here. It's not very interesting. You probably zoned out halfway through and have to rewind to hear my story again. The reason for that is because there's no conflict. There's nothing new or exciting going on that you might not have already taken for granted. But let's say we replace it with this formula. I woke up this morning and I went to make breakfast. But then when I went to open the fridge, I realized it was broken due to a power surge last night and all the food inside has spoiled. Therefore, I had to go to the mall to buy a new fridge. But on the way there, I encountered a traffic accident, so I decided to stop on the side of the road to help. I helped the driver get out of his truck and got him to safety. And just so turns out that the truck that got into an accident was the company that made fridges. Therefore, as a nice gesture for helping the man, he kindly offered to deliver a free fridge to my house. And so on and so forth. It's a rough example, but you see that there's more going on than our first story. This structure is very useful, and I'm personally trying to find more ways to use it. You can think about applying this type of story structure to your vlogs or your other videos. Remember to leave any questions you have in the comment section below. That's it for today. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out my Dan Harmon story circle video. And I'll see you in the next one.